ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jeff Barnhart, and I have the honor of being the artistic director of the Eagles and Ivories Ragtime Festival. Now, this festival has been going on for 27 years. This is the 27th, and the first time we've been doing it virtually. But it's a terrific event. It happens every year at the end of January, the final full weekend in January. And we plan on being in person next year. The dates are January 27, 28, and 29, 2022. You say 20 that many times. It's kind of hard to do. But it's going to be a terrific event. And if everybody you see tonight does as well as I think they're going to do, we plan on having them appear for you live next year in 2022. Before I begin, I would like to give a shout out to the people who make this event happen on a yearly basis through their dedication and their love of the music. Starting with my good friend and the executive producer, Dave Alice, who 27 years ago said to another good friend, pianist Bob Milne, we need ragtime in Muscatine, Iowa. Well, it turns out they were right. They did. And it's been happening every year since. So, wow. And thank you for that. All the people who make this happen, it's a terrific thing to be involved with. Now, to get the ball rolling tonight, I'm going to do a song for you that I've written, especially for the occasion. Not necessarily explicitly the occasion of Eagles and Ivories, but what's been going on all year. It's been strange. However, it's created an opportunity for us to do this. This one is called The Virus Drag. drag. We have a star-studded lineup tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Opening us up tonight is the great Ivory and Gold with a fantastic flautist and vocalist. Her name is Anne Barnhart, and she is accompanied by I know he plays piano. I can't even remember his name. Anyhow, while I think of it, let's watch them. Here we go. Enjoy. We are the musical duo Ivory and Gold, Jeff and Ann Barnhart, coming to you from Mystic, Connecticut. We have the honor of opening the show. Although you're going to hear many different styles over the next couple of hours, of course, ragtime is the linchpin of the entire event. So, being the opening act, we shall start with some ragtime. This one is one of Scott Joplin's best. It's from 1908. It's called the Pineapple Rag. And it's very appropriate because in many cultures, the pineapple is a symbol of welcome. Since we are opening the show, we welcome you to tonight's musical entertainment with the Pineapple Rag. Thank you. 
to play your great blues from 1923 now, ladies and gentlemen, associated with Bessie Smith, who had the first recording. It's called Oh Daddy. Now, it's quite unusual in that it's not a 12-bar blues form, nor does it conform to the form that was used in nearly 90% of the music that was being produced from the 20s up until really the 70s and beyond the 32-bar form. This one is only 28 bars. So if you're dancing to us at home, or wherever you are, you might find you're dancing the final four bars in silence. <laughs> now I'm going to have to sit here and count bars while I'm singing. Well, you know what? I always count bars, no matter where I am. That's how I know I'm in a good town. <laughs> Boy.
start and I'm glad that I recognized that guy when he finally was on screen yeah you know that piano player is not so bad I think we might have him again I always love hearing that beautiful flute and vocals as well well we're going to move on to a dynamic duo they hail from Nashville Tennessee and I have a long history with both of them as a matter of fact the pianist Brian Holland and I go back to 1996 I think it is or 97, it was my second year in Sedalia, Missouri for the Scott Joplin Festival, his first, and all we heard from everybody around us was, hey, you gotta hear this guy, you gotta hear this guy, he's gonna give you a run for your money. So by Saturday night at the after hours that the Ragtime Festivals usually have, we met at one end of the ballroom in the Best Western, actually we were at opposite ends, and it was almost like one of those things, everybody scattered, and I half expected us to draw guns. We kind of sized each other up, and we sat down at the two pianos that were on the stage and started to play. And I was just blown away by this man's talent. And I thought, you know what? I've got to make a friend of this guy quick or else I'm going to be sweeping floors soon. And luckily enough, he seemed to feel the same way. We became great friends, a great duo together and having a great time doing that. When we're live in 2022, we'll give you a taste of that. But we're too far apart right now. The second fellow, who's first called drums in so many different styles, Danny Coots, and I go back a long way as well. And we were part of the Titan Hot 7. He was a founding member of that group. I was with that group for many, many years, over 15. And then, incidentally, Brian took my place afterwards, too. So there's a deep connection with all of us. You're going to hear some terrific music. So here's a little taste of Nashville ragtime and other styles as well with Brian Holland and Danny Coots. Holland Coots. Here they come. We're going to start off with, uh, you know what? We're going to start off with a traditional rag, but we're going to do it yeah, non-traditional. That's right. We sort of messed with it. We kind of, uh, what kind of feel would you say we put on this thing? Uh, you know, it kind of, it, I think it's called a Bo Diddley. Sure. Yeah. It's Something kind of like a Bo that. Diddley. And, and uh, Bo Diddley was a guy. It was. And, and it uh, was, um, his it was... feel was such a wonderful thing, they named the feel Bo Diddley. It did. Here we go, this is Scott Joplin's Easy Winners.
We're going to do a tune that I wrote. Yes. Boy, this is... This is a tune that we never played together till recently, and no. it, it's... Uh, I had to do some studying on this. Wonderful you, tune. You had to do... So. I had to go back and relearn it. Yeah, I guess... I guess... It's been, it was a long time ago when I wrote this thing. You shouldn't really complain about the drum part compared to the well, piano yeah, part. Of this. this is true. This is one that uh, I wrote. Uh, well, God, I wrote it for a friend's cat named Chip. It's a long story. Um, maybe if anybody wants to hear the full story on this, you can write me and I'll tell you the whole thing. But um, this is a long one. But anyway, this is a, a, I, I think it's kind of a fun little stride tune called The Chips Are Down. Some terrific stuff from Brian and Danny. You'll hear more from them later on, as a matter of fact. Now, before I introduce our next performer, I would like to mention as well, I already talked about Dave Alice, our executive producer, but I need to give a shout out to the Muscatine County Arts Council, who worked tirelessly all year, and this has been a strange year, to bring the community together with different events and ideas, organizing things. They're just fantastic. They're tireless, they're all volunteers, and uh, they become good friends of Anne and mine. As well, the Merrill Hotel, which has become the premier hotel, perhaps in all of Iowa, and certainly is the great place where we have, it's like the headquarters of the Eagles and Ivories when we have it live. So in 2022, come check us out and you will enjoy the fantastic facilities of the Merrill Hotel. And of course, all of the sponsors and the people who have helped out throughout the years. We thank you very much. 
this music brings people together, introduces us to new people. As a matter of fact, it was through Eagles and Ivories, just about when I became the artistic director, that I met this next young man who plays fantastic piano, is such a great entertainer, and above all, a fantastic person as well. He originated from Iowa, so he's native from where you uh, the festival takes place. He now lives in St. Louis, Missouri with his wife. She's a musician as well. And he's going to give you some real hot piano right now. Please put your hands together and clap loudly so he can hear you all the way from St. Louis for Chase Garrett. Come on, Chase. Hello, I'm Chase Garrett. I'm so glad to be back here at the Eagles and Ivory's Ragtime Festival. I have been here before and it's still gonna be here again. I know things are a little different this year, but we're still gonna have a blast. Um, before we get started here, I want to thank uh, Dave Alice and Jeff Barnhart for reaching out to me again. Um, what great guys. I couldn't think of better guys for running this festival. So thank you so much again. And without further ado, let's get into it. This first song I'm going to play for you is a song I wrote myself. This is called Preaching. Thank you. 
right, that's the first song I'm gonna play for. That's preaching. This next tune we're gonna do is a, uh, a nice Maloney Harris song. This is Teardrops from My Eyes. That's two drops from my eyes for you. This last tune we're going to play for you right now is uh, as a tune I wrote myself again. This is called Barrel House for Chris.
my heart's going too fast. I just have to take a moment and take a breath. Chase is a force of nature, and that positivity you saw emanating out of the screen, out of his fingers, his voice, it's all real. He's a very positive, amazing young man, and we're so glad we had a chance to have him this year. And of course, live in 2022, I need to mention that again. All right, here is the debut for Eagles and Ivories of a trio, fantastic trio. Now, you've already seen two of our performers, Danny Coots, who hails from Nashville, Tennessee, Brian Holland, who hails from Mount Joliet, Tennessee, which might as well be Nashville. It's very, very close. And this fellow, Steve Pacal, another force of nature, who hails from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Steve made the long trek down to Tennessee so he could engage in a trio performance with Danny and Brian. When they appear as a trio, they call themselves Groovus. I think they will make us groove and will all groove to their grooves. So here they are, Brian, Danny, and Steve Pacal, his first time appearing for you. You'll see him again, 2022. Let's bring on Groovus. Hey everybody, I'm Brian Holland. And I'm Danny Coots. And uh, this guy here is Steve Pickle Pacal. That's right. Yeah, actually, he, that's not really Steve. I, he, he looks better than that. And he plays bass. He can't, this guy can't play bass. Didn't have any fingers. But nonetheless, uh, when Steve was here, uh, we recorded some stuff uh, here in Nashville, and uh, we're going to give that to you folks here for this festival. So we're thrilled to be part of the Eagles and Ivories online streaming festival 2021. Man. Yeah. Crazy, crazy year. So we're going to get started with a great Cole Porter tune. This is called Let's Misbehave.
next tune is a wonderful Fats Waller tune. One that he considered to be probably his favorite tune that he ever composed, mm -hmm. entitled The Jitterbug Waltz. And I love playing this. I love hearing Brian on this thing. And uh, so sit back. Fats Waller's Jitterbug Waltz. Don't you? What's that? The Bell of Louisville, one of my favorite tunes. Ah, that's a great tune. That's by Frank French. And it's a new one. It have to be well, newish. I mean, I mean, 1990 is new for us. That's 30 years old still. Jeez, I know, it really right? is. We really are old. Wow. It's still considered a contemporary rag. So, and it's it was this generation's maple leaf rag. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a great tune. We it's love about playing a it. About a paddle boat. It is. The Bell of Louisville. Here we go.
Well, if you aren't smiling and tapping your feet during that last performance, you're dead. Wake up. Get to the bar. Have a drink. Stand up. Do a couple deep knee stretches. Get that pulse going because we are going to do round robin again. We're coming back out, going to present all of the musicians you've heard so far for a second go. Now I get to start because this section is a surprise for our executive producer, Dave Alice. I'm not going to tell you any more about it, except that it was a lot of fun putting it together. And this will be my solo segment for this event. So I hope you enjoy. I think while I'm playing, I'm just going to go have a lie down. See you soon.
This next one is the second of Dave's faves. It's called King Chanticleer from 1910. And then again in 1911, I'm not sure if it was Edward Madden who wrote lyrics to it, but you're going to be blessed in not having to hear me sing them. Here is King Chanticleer. This isn't as easy to do as it looks. The next part's a lot easier. That's for you, Dave. And now on with the show. Whew. I'm breathless again. For a totally different reason this time. That was a lot of notes. Well, let's put our hands together one more time for that great duo. Let's bring on Holland and Coots for another round of terrific music. Hang on to your hats. Here they come. What do you got next? <laughs> really? <laughs> like, like I don't know. <laughs> wow. Oh, ah! I see. I see you. Ah! I see you found that. Yes. Hey, no, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> I, I don't know why not. I, we've, no, I heard. we've been tamed so far. Yep. <laughs> I yeah. 
I see you found that. I had that in the back. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. That was given to be my Mike Montgomery. So it's a Montgomery Award? <sighs> we're, we're playing that next. <laughs> This is our final tune of the festival. Um, thank you guys all for allowing us to be part of this. Uh, thanks to Dave and to Angela and Joe and Jeff and Ann right. and everybody in Muscatine. Um, we can't thank you enough for, for allowing us to be part of this. We're going to end with, uh, I guess this would be our hit if we had such a thing. Uh, this is uh, Juan Tiesel's Caravan. 
This is a tune made famous by Duke Ellington, and we were asked to do this on our second album years ago in mm -hmm. Nashville. Uh, I start out with an ostinato section, mm -hmm. which is a repetitious rhythmic figure, and Brian does a rubato thing, and then we go into time together and just kind of play with this tune. And it's been a blast doing this, and it's been a blast being part of this virtual festival, mm -hmm. and we look forward to the live festival next year. Thank you guys. Here comes Juan Tizal's caravan.
Such a great chemistry they have together. Wasn't that great to hear? Ah, I enjoyed that a lot. Also enjoyed a little drink while I was listening to that, and I hope you will too. Whatever kind you like. Before I introduce our next performer, I would like to just mention that, of course, this is all being done through the Muscatine County Arts Council. And you may notice down at the bottom of the screen or down below that there's an opportunity to donate to tonight's entertainment in the form of PayPal. You can also write a check if you're on the website. And I'll tell you that, of course, the Arts Council is so generous that every donation that comes in as a result of tonight's effort will be going to all of the musicians whom you've been enjoying. So a nice thank you is again to the Muscatine County Arts Council, their support of the musicians this year, all the years in the past, and all the future years we'll be able to be together. It's always the final weekend in January, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, sometimes there's snow. Yes, sometimes Muscatine, Iowa is cold, but it's a small town with a big heart. And love to have you there in person with us next year. I would say by now, we can safely invite everybody you're hearing tonight to return to wow us in 2022 in person. And how could you follow that kind of a statement up with anybody other than Chase Garrett, who I know is going to wow us again. Hang on, here he comes. Hello again. This first set I'm gonna play for you and my second set is a Big J uh, McShan song and this is a tune called My Child.
There's my child for you. This next tune I'm going to play for you is a song that I wrote myself called Sailor Man. Nice uh, Chicago blues style song. <clears throat>
I'm proud of that sailor man for it. I got us one more in my set. I want to thank again uh, Dave Alice and uh, Jeff Barnhart for having me at the Eagles and Ivory's Ragtime Festival. I really appreciate you all being here with us today. And uh, I'm going to close out my set here with a nice Albert Ammons tune. This is called Boogie Rocks. so much. I've been Chase Garrett. Some blisteringly hot piano from Chase Garrett. Thank you, Chase. Fantastic stuff. Looking forward to seeing you again live. Let's return to that husband and wife duo, Ivory and Gold. And now that I remember who plays piano, yeah, he's all right. I think he'll back up that uh, prima donna, you know, pretty well. Let's hope so. Prima first, donna woman. I guess she's actually the only woman in this tonight's show. But here we go. Ivory and Gold, ladies and gentlemen, from the frozen tundra of Mystic, Connecticut. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, with the tune we are about to do for you, we will try and prove that the lyrics of yesteryear have much more depth and meaning and excitement than present day lyrics. Really? I think we should be able to, with this tune from 1911, called The Red Rose Rag, music by Percy Wenrick and lyrics by Edward Madden. Now, in 1910, Percy Wenrick had published this as a very successful instrumental rag, and Edward Madden comes along the next year and writes lyrics. He had a penchant for doing that with ragtime melodies, making them incredibly difficult to sing, as you're about to find out. I hope you'll, you'll <laughs> sing along. But the composers never minded, because when Madden turned his lyrics to one of their melodies, inevitably it would be a lot more royalties, and this vocal version was actually an even bigger 
seller than the instrumental version from the year prior. So 1911, Red Rose Rag, wish me luck. ladies and gentlemen, and I was surprised when I learned how old it is because so many classic jazz bands across the world still love including it in their programs. So it's a song that classic jazz bands love to play. It's a bluesy number, and it was written late in the ragtime era. Quite a universal song. And the title of it lays credence to my claim. It's called Baby Won't You Please Come Home. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that from Anne. <laughs> Although recently, it turns out it's usually, baby, won't you please leave home? <laughs> Either way, we hope you enjoy it.
Here's a real hot number from 1920, ladies and gentlemen. All I'm going to tell you about this one is that this song this year is a year older than it was last year.
I have a secret. I love playing music with my wife. So much fun. And I know that spilled over in what you just experienced with us. And I have to say how delightful to have so many great friends on this evening's program. And I know that even though I can't see you, there are so many people who I treasure as friends and supporters and that all of the musicians you've enjoyed treasure as well. Thank you for your support and thanks for tuning in. Again, it's not compulsory, but if you'd like to leave a donation, just check out the PayPal opportunity and the address where you can send a check. That does help keep things going in the musicians' lives. As well, as we continue to increase the travel, please check out all of our websites. Every musician you're listening to tonight has a way you can reach out, contact them, find out where they'll be. It'd be great for, to see you in person. Maybe even before next year's Eagles and Ivories. Final full weekend in January. Check it out. All right, and let's check out again that terrific trio, Groovis, starring Brian Holland, Danny Coots, and Steve Pical. Here they come. Hey, we're back. We are. We are. <laughs> we, we're back with Pickle. We are going to do, uh, well, this is one of your favorite tunes. It is. Uh, I for absolutely. Us to play. This is a tune by a guy named Nacio Brown. That's right. He's um, not your average songwriter. No, he's not. Did you like Speaking it? of songwriters, we just recorded an album called Songwriters. We did. And it featured another tune by this guy, Nashio Brown, mm -hmm. uh, called All I Do Is Dream of You. Yeah. Great tune. That's not what we're doing this time, though. We're going to play uh, more of a piano novelty tune. Yep. This is, uh, well, this is just a cute little tune called The Doll Dance.
Our next tune is actually a couple of tunes. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a medley. Yes. Or as they call it, a mashup these days. The kids do? Yeah, they call it a mashup. With all their boom diddy boom and With their boom diddy boom <laughs> Yeah. This is actually a, a, a medley mashup of uh, a couple of tunes that were put together by Mark Allen Jones. Right. A friend of ours and a wonderful piano player and great arranger. Um, and I have no idea why in the world he thought a song by uh, Scott Joplin and one by Roy, Roy Orbison would go together, but they do. And yeah. so um, here you go. This is Solace in the Blue Bayou.
Well, we got one more tune to play as Grubus. And uh, wow, this is, we, we saved the best for last, I think. Yeah, this is a wonderful tune. Uh, I'm glad I don't play piano on it because it's, it's brutal. <laughs> yeah. This is written by a dear friend of ours, Tom Breyer. Yeah. And a tune entitled Razor Blades and Holy Mackerel. Fasten your seatbelts. Yeah. What a great performance to finish up our time together. I just want to take the opportunity on behalf of all the musicians, again, to thank you for tuning in. And on behalf of Chase Garrett, Brian Holland, Danny Coots, Steve Pacal, Ann Barnhart, and myself, Jeff Barnhart, we thank you for all the support over the years. We long to see you in person very soon, and we know that will happen. One more thanks to Dave Alice, executive producer of Eagles and Ivories, his daughter, Angela Woodhouse, who has really become very integral in making this thing go over the last several years and continues to move it forward. The president of the Muscatine County Arts Council, Ed Chamberlain, all of the Arts Council members, all the volunteers, the people who believe in this, the Merrill Hotel, and of course, all of you. And thanks to Andrew Green, who was our editor tonight, 
He has a very successful and wonderful ragtime orchestra called the Peacherine Ragtime Orchestra. Just Google Andrew Green and Peacherine Ragtime Orchestra and check that stuff out too. Someday if Eagles and Ivers becomes big enough, maybe we'll be able to have an entire orchestra. And we'll have to make room for dancing. And well, uh, now my mind's going too quick. Best thing to do is to tell you to have a great, great evening, to thank you for tuning in, and say see you real soon. Bye now.